perfect. Okay, this is the last one, this one. They took very good. One down. Two down. I don't speak very loud because we just doubt them. We need to put them a corner. It's really necessary before we leave them. Okay, 70 hours. Just we have to hurry up because the anesthesia is not going to last more than one hour. In Namibia, we join Olivia and meet probably the most lovable of all the big cats, the cheetah. He's powerful, but also vulnerable. Cheetahs are disappearing. A century ago, there were cheetahs all over Africa and Asia, 100,000 of them. Today, there are only 10,000. Their main refuge is in Namibia. But here, cheetahs hunted by farmers also have to fight for their survival. Olivia meets people who have devoted their lives to save these big cats. What if humans and cheetahs Hi, Coco. could learn to live together? You're seeing the other cheetahs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since we have been married, there's not been one night that I have slipped through. Yeah. If it's not animals, it's Zahil. It's always something that wakes us up in the night. Et depuis combien de temps t'es marié? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. See how tired I look. <laughs> We come here very far from them because they need to be confident to go out from the enclosure. It's amazing because we are at one kilometer from them and they are able to see us and to smell us. So we need to wait a little bit more. It's difficult for you to let them go because you know that you are taking a risk. If you don't take the risk, these cats are going to stay in captivity and there's no reason for it, so it's not a risk. I know these cats know. They've tasted freedom for six months of their life and they know what freedom is about. This last meal will hold them for a week. After that, they will have to take care of themselves, find their place in our world.